So today's essential is going to be talking about using a pre-master while you work and I'm using Studio One version 3. So pre-master, by that I mean I've made a little loop here just up to bar 9 and I've got no processing whatsoever on my drums or on the synth loops that I'm using right now. The only thing I've got going on is an LFO tool which is just controlling the sidechain as you can see. So what I tend to do is the first time I make a track or a loop or anything like that, all I'll do is panning and leveling. So basically balancing the sound as is. So when I play back, it's at about minus two, minus three dB. So let me play this to you right now and have a look at the level meter and let's see where we are. So we're at a reasonable level and what I want to do now is just add some effects and create a pre-master just to see how it might sound once it's boosted as is. So what I've done here, let me close this one, is I've put a fab filter and I've just shaved off basically the stuff I don't want to hear. A compressor with a very low uh, ratio. Uh, the gain reduction is going to be very, very small. So this is about half a dB of gain reduction, nothing, nothing major. PSP vintage warmer, so tape saturation. Um, I just raised the knee 8%. The drive is half a dB and that is it, that's all you need. And last but not least is the limiter. So I just used a preset called cleanup and I turned on true peak limiting. So it gives it any, um, if there's any digital noise, it stops it from coming in which is really good. So now what I'll do is I'll A, B these effects. So when I get to bar five, I'll turn on this little pre-master kind of uh, FX chain and then tell me what you think. So yeah, this can be very useful. The only bit of advice I would give anyone who is gonna start using this or doing this with their tracks is that when you're actually getting ready to mix down, just make sure everything is turned off in your master section, okay? So if you've got all of this switched on and you start adding effects to your drums or your synths, you're gonna get lost in the track and you don't wanna do that. It's a pain to start again. So make sure you turn everything off. This is just for basically reference. So you can use this as a reference to AB. And yeah, I do this all the time and, and it's worked out fine for me. And yeah, it's a quick little tip. Hope this helped you out. Check out the rest of my videos for more and I'll see you in the next one.